Welcome to Allgen's Money Minute. A question that comes up often when we're doing financial planning is, how much do I need to save for retirement? Okay, and this is a tough question because you're trying to come up with a number in the future, okay, but start saving for it today. Now, I tell people just to kind of give them a dose of reality, not to scare people off, okay, but there's a quick calculation that, that I tell people, and I call it the 2, 3, 10, 365, 20, okay, and hopefully that's on the bottom of my screen here, okay, but what that means is if you're a married couple, okay, there's two of you, and you eat three times a day, okay, and an average cost of a meal about 10 bucks, okay, and you eat every day, 365 days, and you live 20 years in retirement, okay, if you multiply those out, it gives you a number of $438,000, Okay, that you're gonna eat. That's just to eat in retirement, not counting inflation. When you count inflation, it's over half a million dollars. Mm -hmm. and that's just to eat. So when you start looking at numbers that way, you say, whoa, the sooner I start, the better, because retirement isn't inexpensive. Another rule that financial planners will use, and just remember this is a general rule of thumb, is a, it's not only you know the name of the rule, but it's a 7% figure that they will use. Assuming a moderate portfolio, which is what retirees will typically have, is a moderate portfolio, assuming that makes 7%, and there's no guarantee of that, but assuming it does, you would be able to live off of 4% and allow the portfolio to grow at 3%, therefore keeping up inflation <laughs> with inflation. So um, you take, the, the way this rule works is you take the amount of income that you need, and let's just use a simple example of 50,000, and you divide it by 0.04. Okay, so 50,000 divided by 0.04 is 1.25 million. You would need 1.25 million to live off of an income of 50,000 every year and allow that 50,000 to grow at the rate of inflation and keep up inflation. Right, and, and the calculation is arithmetic. So if you wanted to live off 100,000, right. you just double that calculation. So you would need about 2.5 million safe somewhere. Yeah. Now, of course, this doesn't, uh, again, it doesn't include any social security right. or pensions or any other type of assets that you may have or income. But just a general rule of thumb that more importantly tells us the sooner you start, the better. And it's really important to quantify how much you need to save to get to your number. Okay, this number doesn't tell us how much you need to save. For that, you need a full financial plan or retirement module to tell you what is your particular uh, situation requirement, depending how risky you want to be and how much time you have left. Yeah. But hopefully this helps you to start thinking about that important number that you have to quantify and helps you define that and, and make some progress in that direction. Mm -hmm. How can we cover it up? Um, well, he's gone now. Is that, that good? <laughs> can't see it now, can you? We're going to move around. Wings. Okay. <laughs> How about that?